Hello everyone, transport enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to create a tramline in workers and resources Soviet Republic. So the first thing you are going to want to do when creating a tramline in workers and resources Soviet Republic is to be aware that tramlines are built or are part of the railway network in this game, meaning that the method I will show you here will also be applicable to electrified train lines, since both tram lines and electrified train lines use the exact same infrastructure, a train depot and an electrified train line. So currently, before we start this tutorial, I have built this city here with, well, no, more, I have created this new map here with a few cities and I'm just trying to find a city. And here is one right there. Okay. So, by the way, to open up this map here, all you have to do is click M and then M to open it up, or you can just open it up like this. Well, maybe not. So you have to click the little uh, magnifying glass. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do when creating a tram line is we are going to build our railway depot. So we go into infrastructure, railways, train depot. Now you can place your train depot wherever you want, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna place it close here. So it's close enough to the turning circle. Okay. So once you build your train depot, you're going to want to wait for it to build up. And the next thing we are going to do once this builds is we are going to construct our ra railway lines. So railway lines are found in railways and then electrified railway. So this is the only um, piece of railway that we can use for trams. So there's no segregated tram roads in this game. So, uh, sorry, so there's no um, roads with uh, tram lines in this game. So if you want to create an avenue or a boulevard with tram lines in the middle, I will show you shortly how you can do that as well. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to simply click this and the build railway. So to build a railway, you just attach it to this uh, little railway pointer here. So this is going to be our uh, inbound line and this will be our outbound line like so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have our turning circle be here so for now our this line here is just going to connect with our depot like so and I'm just going to destroy these trees so it looks a bit more professional for effect Okay, so there's two ways you can build a tram terminus. You can build a switchover point, or you can do a turning circle like I've done. So here. Now, in order to do a uh, a crossover point, what you're going to need to do is you you will have to use semaphores. Uh, I will do a future tutorial on how you can use semaphores, but for this video, the only semaphores I'll be going over are at T junction. So if you want to do a crossover point, I will have a link in the description uh, on the official guide for semaphores or you can subscribe to this channel and then in a future video I will go over how to do a uh, switchover point. But anyhow, in most uh, former Soviet bloc countries they use a turning circle so you, you will most likely want to use a turning circle for your tram line. So what we have here at the moment is this will be our turning circle for the tram line that will be serving Tabovina. Uh, the town of Tabovina. So once we are here, what we are going to do is we are going to connect our tram line with the tram depot, like so. So once we have done this, what we have created here is a T junction. However, in order for this T junction to actually work, let me just check if the microphone is on. Yes, it is. Perfecto. So in order for this T junction to actually work, what we need to do is we need to add signals to it. The main thing about using signals in this game is understanding the difference between a chain semaphore and a normal semaphore. So basically a chain semaphore is used when you are uh, entering the junction, whilst a normal semaphore is used while the train or the tram is exiting the junction. So in this case, so we're a left-hand driver, on the right-hand side of the road we're a left-hand drive, so in this case, the other important thing is you want to have your semaphore set up correctly because sometimes you'll notice that if you start a tram line, the tram might be actually driving on the wrong side of the tram tracks. 
So the easiest way to make sure that the tram is on the correct road, is, uh, correct side of the track, is to actually use these semaphores here. And we are going to do this for the entrance to this junction on each side. So the junction entrance is here and here. The next thing we are so now once you place the semaphores, currently when you place the semaphore, what will happen is your semaphore will be double sided. This means that trains will be able to go both this way and this way along the track. However, since we have a double a double track, we want trains going in one direction only. So in order, so to be able to change the direction of the semaphore, all you do is you click on the semaphore like so, and the direction changes. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to add our normal semaphores. So our normal semaphores go at the exit of the junction. So here, here, and here. And again, this currently is a double-sided semaphore, but we want this to be a single-sided semaphore. So all we have to do is just simply click on it until it gives us the right direction. Perfect. So now what we have is we have set up our working semaphore junction, and when there's a train on here, this will turn red, and this will allow the trains to pass through. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to build our first tram stop. So you have two choices, you can use the train platform the normal size or you can use the small one. I'm going to use the small one here because for a tram uh, uh, the larger one would seem a bit uh, overkill. So I'm going to place this here. You, you might want to connect it with the road just so your passengers will actually be able to use this train line. Like so. And then you can also add a road on this side. I'm going to have this road loop around like this. And then we're going to have this road go up like this, like so, and like so. So then basically you can go around the tram tracks. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to continue building a railway line. So we're going to click onto the electrified railway and we're going to extend it to the tram stop. And as you can see, the citizens are, are waiting for the opening of this new tram line and they're all ready to go. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to decide where this tram line is going to travel to. So I'm just going to take a quick look if there's any other cities nearby. I did put eight cities. I did select for there to be eight cities built when I built this map. And they all seem to be this direction. So the closest one is Malma. So what we are going to do is I'm going to create a tram line with two stops. So basically two turning circles that will go from the city of Tabalvina to the city of Malma. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly um, build the rest of the line like so. Cross over here. And just for symmetrical purposes, we're going to have this be like this. And then this can go over like this. Now, another thing I'm going to show you here quickly is how you can actually build a tram boulevard. So since in this game, the only way to build tram lines is by placing the electrified railway, there's no actual road or a tram track on it, you kind of have to create it yourself if you want to create a tram boulevard. So what? So in order to create a boulevard with trams in the middle, like you see in a lot of Eastern European cities, all you have to do is go into your infrastructure tab here, into the roads, and then select build asphalt road. Then we can just build this road right beside Okay, so there's a railway crossing here, so what we are going to do is we are going to build this along, just like here, just along here. As you can see, it's right beside the, it's right beside the tram line. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So now it is basically like a tram avenue, or like a boulevard with a tram line in the middle. And then what we can do is we can have a little... We can have this road branch out this way, we can have this road branch out this way, and then we can have these two roads connected like okay these road yeah so it's a bit of trial and error. We can have these two roads connected like here. Now currently if you do this what's what is going to happen is you're basically going to have a bi-directional road or a two-way road what we want to do is we want to set the roads to one way on both sides so this way it is like a fully functioning tram avenue so the way you make a one-way road is you simply go into set roads to be one way 
I'm not sure if that's doesn't really matter. And then you're just gonna click on this road until you see the arrows go all the way to the end. And we are going to do the exact same thing for this road here. I'm gonna click on this side, starting from here, and I'm gonna drag this along all the way to the very end. So now what we have created is a avenue, we have our tram line running through the middle, we have one road on the right side, one road on the left side, going two opposite ways. Now you can also add a tram stop if you like in the middle of the uh, boulevard, the only thing is that when you add a tram stop the roads will have to diverge a bit, but that's basically how you can create a boulevard. You can also have the roads going along one side, you do have these kind of tram lines in some cities as well. And basically all you have to do there is remove this side of the road and then you have this uh, one side of the road running parallel to the two tram tracks. Anyhow, with that covered we are just going to continue building our tram line until we get to the next city of Molna. So we just click on here and the handy thing about this is that the, the, this has quite a large building uh, range so when you actually put it here it will build this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the turning circle somewhere along here. So we're going to have a tram stop somewhere there and then the turning circle thereafter. Okie dokie. So all I'm doing is just mirroring what I've done for the first track. Do the same thing for the second track, like so. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are, we are going to add our second tram stop. And that tram stop will be just here. And so basically, this tram line will just be a um, will be like an intercity tram line that connects two cities. And then all we're gonna do now, all we are going to do now, is add our turning circle. So extend this a bit, give it some room for the turning circle to really work. Actually, I think we'll just make this slightly more perfect. And then there we go. This is our turning circle. So now what we have done is we have created our tram line. So it's got two stops. The only thing we need to do now is connect this tram stop to the road so that the people of this town can actually travel to it. So we go back into the road, select a asphalt road or whatever road you want. It can be a trolleybus road if you're having a trolleybus line as well. Doesn't really matter. Crossing's not allowed at the moment. Interestingly enough. Being a bit tricky this today. Okay, okay. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then we can just do the same thing here. And then our tram stop is connected with the main road. Okay. Okay, now that our tram line is built, before we actually can go and create a tram line, we actually have to electrify it, unless you're playing without electricity on. The only thing about playing without um, electricity is that it actually doesn't allow you to place any of the buildings, so it kind of limits you to uh, it kind of limits the aesthetic uh, capabilities of your city. And as you can see, our tram line right here at the moment is actually quite busy. Might use this as a screenshot. Oh, as I was coming out more precisely. Okay. So if we go over to a train depot at the moment, sorry my mouse is being, well, my mouse is a bit glitchy sometimes. We are going to see that currently, sorry. Oh, maybe this is without electricity today. Okay, actually I might have set this to run without electricity. Let me check now what I have done. Okay, so. The next thing we are going to want to do is we are going to create our electricity supply. So the way we do this is the first thing we need to do is we need to go into railways and Okay. It turns out that I have not turned on energy management. Okay, yes, so when I created the city, um I did not turn on energy management, so so this is actually not available at the moment. So, but basically, I'm just going to quickly go over how you do this. Yeah, that was just a slight mishap on my behalf. So, what you're going to do is, if you want to, if you're playing with energy enabled, you're going to click this here. You add this, then you connect it with a medium voltage wire like so. You can, and then 
No, so what you do is you so when you're in the railway section, you build a energy management building. So this is just a railway line. You connect, you put the railway line wherever, and then you need to build electrified railways from the line to your to your what's it called this building to your uh, railway connector. Then the next thing you need to do is once you have your railway connector, you need to um, add power to it. So the way you add power to it is you go into your map and you have to go basically to the border of the map. So the way you go to the border of the map, the quickest way to do it is you just open up your map via M and then you just look for a, an electricity connector on the map. So they're, they are distributed, uh, there's like quite a lot, all of them distributed across the map. And then once you find them, you click onto it. And then what you do is you click import purchase mode and you basically click this plus sign and that will add electricity. So you're importing electricity from uh, abroad or from another city. And then the next thing you do is you go into your infrastructure, medium voltage, medium voltage wires, and then you connect, then you uh, add your medium voltage wires to this and you keep going until you reach your rail connector and then you attach the medium voltage wires to your rail connector so therefore the electricity transmitted from the foreign power connector is going all the way to your railway power connector and that is how you electrify your tram line in workers and resources Soviet Republic I do apologize that I can't show you this but uh, I, I wasn't it turns out I missed the I missed the part where I was meant to deselect energy. Ma I was meant to deselect disabled energy management, so unfortunately I cannot show you that. But if you're having any troubles with it, I can um, make a video if required. Okay, so once you have electrified your tram line, if you are playing with uh, electricity enabled, the next thing you want to do is you are now ready to purchase your tram. So you go into your depot. And then we're going to click buy new mechanism and then under this you're going to look for the tram section here and then you have a large array of trams that you can choose from ranging from the tatra kt835 so for example if you're doing a switch arrow point rather than turning circle this is probably the best tram to use for that or the tsmg i'm not sure which tram model that is but i'm going to purchase the tatra t3 i'm going to purchase four of these now you can run these as single coupled or you can run them as coupled trams. If you want to have them coupled, all you do is you drag the tram from here onto the, onto the first row or whichever row it is, like so. Bear in mind that you can only run a couple of two trams maximum. If you try this with the third tram, it's just, oh, it works, so never mind. So you can have as many couples as you want. I'm just going to do it as a two couples, uh, two couples, uh, double couple tram, so like this. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a proper word, double couple trams. So basically you have two couples, so two carriages coupled together. So we're going to, we are going to have two trams. The next thing we are going to do is to st create our tram line. We double click on the tram and then we are going to click add stop. So we're going, we are going to click new stop. And then we are going to select our stop like so. So what is going to happen is that when our tram exits the depot from here, it's going to travel along here. All the way up there to two tier off, or is it tier off or three or oh, three off, three off, all the way to Molna. Um, I keep forgetting the name of the other city. I think it's uh, Tab Tabovina, no Tabovina, Tabovina, and then we're going to add this tram stop here. It's going to rotate again, and then we're, now, when we're adding this tram stop, this is our terminus. So if since this is our terminus, we want this to be unload only so basically we want everyone getting off you can select here how many people are getting on how many people are getting off but since this is our terminus i'm going to deselect load and then everyone's going to everyone will get out i'm going to add this stop again so this stop is the starting stop so what is going to happen here is people are going to be getting on now you can select what percentage of passengers waiting are getting on but currently since we only have one line it makes sense that everyone who is waiting at the tram stop is getting on at the tram stop then the next thing we do is we select this stop here and then this is the terminus again so I'm going to deselect load then it's going to go around like this and then, then I'm going to select this stop again and then this is our tram line. So once we have created our tram line we are ready to go so the next thing we have to do is we simply click launch and then when you click launch we are going to see that our tram line is now operational. So here we have our 
first ever Tatcha Tea Tree operating from, well, the first ever Tatcha Tea Tree for the city operating, leaving the depot and heading towards its maiden voyage from Tabogina to Molna. Okie dokie. And then, as you can see here, the train, the tram currently has a green signal to the semaphore. It's going to turn left here, and then it's going to come to this stop here, where it's going to pick up the passengers. So currently, we have 59 workers waiting, 15 passengers waiting, and 8 students waiting. And then, as you can see here, once the tram passes, this semaphore will turn red. Now, if you want to create an extra, so if you want to add another tram, uh, so the another tram vehicle running on this line, what you what you're going to do is you're going to click onto your train depot like so and then the remaining tram that's not in service is going to be here so we're going to double click on this and then the easiest way to do this is instead of adding all the stops again I'm simply going to the accept line and then the line we just created last time or any line we have created is going to be here so if I select this we have a line here we have our terminize with a starting point and then a terminize again and then all I have to do is close this off because I if I drive like this, yeah. No, I should. Yeah, I'm not sure if that actually went through, so I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to click set line, select this, there we go, now it's gone through. I'm going to close this off and then launch. And then here we have our second coupled Tatcha T trees leaving the depot ready to operate on the tram line one between Tabovina and Molna. So as you can see here, the tram is now operational, we have an operational tram line and what's going to, what is going to happen here is the tram is going to stop at the junction and I think so it's the way these seem to work is that this signal here is green so this tram won't actually leave until the second tram has passed through here it's going to just loop around and then this tram will have the green signal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up so that the second tram moves faster and then we are going to take a look at what is happening with our second tram so there is our boulevard there is our tram travelling and as you can see since we set the semaphores in the right direction our tram is travelling in the correct direction as well and that's basically how you create a tram line I'm just going to keep this running so you can see that the semaphores are working correctly I hope you found this video helpful and if you did you can always give it a like and you can always subscribe for more content as well. I do upload obviously do content, transport content and it will have more tutorials on workers and resources in the Soviet Republic. The next tutorial I plan to do will be on semaphores and I don't know what this tram is doing here. We're just going to follow it along back to Tirov. We have our hills in the distance so we have the Rivistok hills, we have Smal. Asmalia uh, Tafka, Vigordita, Mexinia, Nega, and Almavari. Or Almavaria. Almavari, Almavari, whichever way you prefer to pronounce it. So our charm is speeding ahead towards Tabavina, passing through the boulevard. I'm just going to head back over here. And then, one thing to note is that depending on what game mode you are playing on, passengers, uh, the number of passengers you are going to have may be different. So for example, I have this set to super easy, but you have this to hard or medium. You are going to notice that you won't get passengers until you've actually created a city, and usually you can actually decide where passengers get on, get off. So you have full control over the route and the passengers basically in this game, depending on which game mode you're playing on. And the other thing is that for in order for passengers to actually travel on this, usually you want them traveling from their home to work. So usually like a car processing pl plant or a mine, something like that, should uh, create enough passengers for you to have going to your city. And then that tram is still stuck at the junction, as you can see. Now. This is slightly odd, this is a, a bit of an odd glitch and I'm not quite sure why it's happened so I think generally what happens there is, like this happened to me last time I was trying to do this tutorial is I think we need to add a second semaphore so what we are going to do is we are going to go into infrastructure then we will select railways and then double chain semaphore so what we are going to do is we are going to have this double chain semaphore here and we are going to have it here. So what this means is that this tram will actually be forbidden from going backwards because for some reason 
um, when I did this last time as well, when you set the semaphores like this, if you don't have a semaphore here, the tram will just rotate backwards. So to avoid that happening, as you just saw, we need this. And then I think basically what's happened here is this tram line has become broken. So what we are going to do is we're just going to sell this vehicle. Yep. Um, I don't know what he's waiting for. Oh, I paused the game. That's the problem. There we go. This tram's going to move. I'm going to buy a new tram from the depot. So I'm going to buy new vehicles. Tram to them. Try and attach it to your trees or whatever tram you want. I'm going to couple them together like so. They're going to go into set line. And I'll double click. Set line. Copy this line over. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of menus popping up here. Launch. And then you're going to have a. I was going to make a screenshot there. And then you'll, you will have a second tram leaving the depot like so. And now, our tram's running from the correct direction. I'm going to speed this up because we don't have all day to wait for this tram to make a point here. There we go, the tram stopped there. And. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more semaphores. So, also actually, I added a double semaphore there. It's actually meant to be a simple semaphore. You only want, you only ever want to have double semaphores or a chain semaphore when it is a junction. So there's actually no need to have a double chain semaphore there. So a single one should do. We have it like so. There's the entrance to the junction, and then to make sure everything runs correctly, there we go. And then, as you can see, this tram is moving now, and then our semaphore junction is working correctly. Kind of. So I think what you need to do is, you when you're using semaphores, you kind of need to populate them across the line. So if you add a semaphore, say, here, oh sorry, so it's going to infrastructure, railways, single chain semaphores. This is basically going to cause the tram, the train to move, or the tram to move, so if you're using semaphores, the easiest thing to do is add them across the line, so that way it works, and yeah, I think in real life you will notice that generally trains do pass through a lot of signals, so that should make everything run smoothly. Like so, and then, okay, so I think these purple lines here you see, these indicate to you that you kind of want you want to have a semaphore there. There's an extra purple line, and then you keep doing this across all our lines. So once we have all our semaphores, no, nope, that's wrong. There we go. Exactly. So that's basically what these lines are for. And this way, your tram line will work correctly. So there you go. You just add them all in, and then the tram line should be working as you can see here. Stops, you get the green signal, there the red signal, everything runs smoothly. So basically the easiest way to know this, as I said uh, a moment ago, I'm not sure why I'm not repeating this, but purple lines indicate where you should place a semaphore, or that's what I think anyway. Maybe if I'm wrong someone can correct me, or if someone knows if that's true or not they can uh, corroborate that in the comment section down below. Perfect. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, our tram lines are working. Uh, he's obviously, or she, or whoever's driving that tram, is obviously turned around because uh, they're heading the same direction. And then that's it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to give it a like if you found it helpful. And until next time.